Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris and this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Quick little video, at least for me it's quick. Um, I've seen so many people throughout this world have what I like to call drowning in good intentions. And they're always hoping for things to change, wishing for things to get better, harping on the negative. And for a while, I did that myself because it's just natural. We're surrounded, unfortunately, with negativity a lot of times. If you ever turn on the television and watch the news, which I recommend you don't do anymore, you're constantly bombarded with negativity. We're always told how things are difficult and how you're going to struggle and not many people make it and how many people are suffering. And we tend to believe these things. And the thing that I've come to realize in my ever progressing life is that your belief system is going to create in the physical realm what you think. Now you could lie to many person in the world. You can even try and lie to yourself, but the truth is always the truth, whether it's your own truth or somebody else's truth. And when you come to the term in the terms of the fact that we, like I've said in several videos, I know it sounds weird, but we are made of light. We're made of atoms. Our brains are nothing more than synapses that send electrical signals. So this is not superstition. This is not some crazy conspiracy. This is a fact. Everything is held together through magnetism. So you attract things. That's why if you've ever had one bad relationship after another, if you don't change yourself, you are going to constantly attract the very thing that you might not even want. It's because if you put out a certain frequency, you're going to get that kind of response back. So if you're always hoping, well, you're going to get back an endless supply of things to hope for. If you're always sitting there wishing, you are always going to get back things that you have to wish for. If you're always depressed, you are always going to get things that keep you that way. Because if you think of life as a computer, and I'm not saying life is a computer, I'm just saying metaphorically speaking, that only understands facts and doesn't understand emotions. And because everything is based on electricity and magnetism, you attract what you output, your energy, because your heart radiates. That's why when, when you are passionate about something, what do they tell you? Do they tell you put your head into it? No, they tell you put your heart into it. So because of the fact that the speed of light is 186,400 miles per second, change happens in less than an instant. So it can be that simple. It's a simple mind change. It's a simple thought pattern adjustment. It's realizing you get what you give. So you're, if you're always sitting there saying bad things are always happening, you're sending it out to the universe in a signal and bad things will come back. Not because they're trying to be mean or cruel. It's because if you think of, like I said, life like a computer, it doesn't understand emotion. If you build a robot, to kill people. It's not going to feel bad. It's not going to feel remorse or regret. It's not going to feel sorry that it's torturing the person. It's just doing a job. So people need to rethink and unlearn what they have learned, if you know where that reference comes from. So if you are constantly pushing out negativity, you are always going to get negativity back. So when people are praying for things, they're always given things, reasons to keep praying because you get what you give. And because most people don't understand how the universe really works, you're getting the very thing you don't want because you keep asking for it. So just imagine if life was a computer and could not understand emotion and only understood facts. Just imagine if God was a computer with no emotion and he keeps seeing you saying, woe is me, 
All these bad things are happening. I can't get a break. Things are always going wrong. I might as well think the worst because this way I can prepare for it. Well, think of it from the other end. They constantly see what it is that you're asking for. And a computer would say, well, if it's processing the information, it would say, well, I guess that's what they want because they keep asking for it. So I'll keep giving it to them and they keep generating that endless cycle. So if you change your mindset and think more positively, instead of I can't, you say, what do I need to do to fix things? It's all about your priorities. Because if I asked you right now, in 30 days, could you get a million dollars? Your natural instinct that we've been bombarded with since childhood would make us say, no, we can't do it because we doubt ourselves. Now, if I change the scenario and said, and God forbid this ever happens, a criminal comes and kidnaps everyone that is precious to you, every living creature, every family member, every child, whatever that means anything to you and sends you a videotape that says you have 30 days to bring me a million dollars. Otherwise, the next video you get will be the slaughtering of all that you love. Are you telling me you're not going to get that million dollars any way possible? You'd at least try. You wouldn't just say, oh, I can't do it. You'd do everything in your power to make it happen. Now, if you think about those two scenarios, there's only one thing that changed. You went from, I can't do it, to I must do it. So all you did was change the mindset. And so many people think that things are, oh, well, they're foretold and there's a destiny and you can't stop the inevitable. That's not true. That's how control keeps you in line. Because if you think you can't change destiny or something that's foretold, you're not going to do anything to fix it. So then you make that very thing happen. And I've used this example before and I'll show you. This pen, if I let it go, the destiny of this pen is to fall down and hit the table that is beneath it. So if I let it go, it's completed its destiny. I didn't stop it. But if I take this pen and say the destiny of this pen, if I let go, is to drop and hit the table and I catch it, well, I've changed the outcome. It's the lack of participation that made the destiny be fulfilled. So all these prophecies, all these people that tell you this is the way it is, it's all about fear, making you controlled without realizing it and using your own fears and doubts and insecurities to keep you in check, to make you regulate yourself. That is the ultimate form of slavery is they've mastered the way to make you control yourself so they don't have to. All they have to do is post and bombard you with fear doubt, insecurity, hatred, negativity, and you'll absorb it like a sponge. But the secret to life is it's your choice to believe. It's, it's like watching a horror movie. If you watch it, just saying the characters on that screen, albeit scary, cannot come through the screen and hurt me. But if you believe strongly enough that they're coming to get you on that screen, you risk the chance of dying of a heart attack, or at the very least, being very paranoid. How are you going to sleep every night if you think those monsters on that movie that you watched are coming to get you? And just imagine your whole life thinking that way and believing that. Because like I've said before, whether you are right or you're wrong, you're right because you create the energies that you give. And for the longest time on this channel, I was trying so hard to please other people to try and pacify those who sent hatred towards me. And the more I sent that message out to try and pacify that, the more I got people that I had to try and pacify. So I was getting what it is I wanted, even though it wasn't what I wanted. So I no longer interact with evil. Neither should you, and you shouldn't doubt yourself. Don't say things are hard. Make them better.
If you want something bad enough, you'll achieve it. We all have our doubts. It's part of, unfortunately, the human nature that we've been brought into. And the reason that so few can control so many is they've perfected slavery, where you no longer have the chains and you regulate yourself. Got to pay those taxes. Got to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Got to worship the same people they tell me to. I mean, look at religion. With all the things they use as fear and control, it's the same thing as governments. It's all fear and control. Do what we say or you'll be punished. Do as we say and you'll be rewarded. In religion, that reward is going to heaven. In government, it's called financial gain. If you're watching this with somebody that's never seen one of my videos before and doesn't believe in this stuff, because belief is irrelevant, tell them to take out a $1 bill. You'll notice the words, in God we trust, and you'll notice many a politician will talk about God bless America or wherever they are. Now let me ask those people who are in the not believing section. If I asked you what your name was, would you say human? No, you wouldn't. Why? Because that's a title. That's not a name. So when you put your hand on the Bible at court and they say, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. If you see a politician get on camera and say, and God bless America and God bless you. And you look at that $1 bill or any dollar, $20, $10, $5, it's irrelevant a quarter and you see the words in God we trust let me ask you this which God are they referring to because that's not a name that's a title because if you were born in the days of the Roman Empire well you had the God of Mercury the God of Mars the God of Venus kind of interesting that the gods are all named after the planets just like the days of the week Monday moon Sunday Sun Saturday Saturn Miércoles for Wednesday, Mercury, Spanish. You look at the uh, other languages in French, Spanish, and in Italian, you'll see the similarities. It's all named after the planets. But yet, if we talk about that, you're a voodoo person or a devil worshiper or anything like that. It's the way to self-regulate yourself through fear and ignorance. And that's why you're being controlled and you don't know it. And some people spend their time projecting hatred towards others. But I guarantee you, they will always have something to hate. And that's an interesting way to live life. Instead of having things that you love, you're always being associated with things that are full of hate. Feel sorry for those people, but feel sorry for yourself no more. Because you can change it. You just got to want to do it. You don't have to. But like I said about that dollar. If it was the God you assume it is, because you know what they say about assuming, it makes a you-know-what out of you and me, but you assume when they have that on the dollar bill or any of the money, you assume that in God we trust means the same God you pray to. If you worship cabbage, that's your God. If you worship Buddha, it's your God. If you worship Satan, it's your God, isn't it? So... When you look at that dollar bill that you have in your hand, hopefully, or your friend or loved one has in their hand, if it's the God you assumed it was, look on that currency that you now hold in your hand and tell me where there are any crosses. Tell me where there are any angels, any images of God coming down from the clouds or Jesus. You won't find one of those on there. But yet you'll see plenty of pagan symbols and Egyptian symbols. So just stop and think about that for a second. Ever read the Bible? Ever hear where they say money is the root of all evil? You don't see very many spiritual things on the dollars that they label in God we trust. Sadly, because of most people's ignorance and it's their own faults you're easily controlled
But the beautiful thing is you don't have to be. Once you have that little ray of light, you can choose to continue to do nothing. You could choose to continue to be angry and hateful and negative. Or you could turn around and use this as an opportunity to change it, to change the destiny of something instead of letting nature take its course. So this is the ruling class. And where this falls is the end of everything. Even though there is no such thing as end. They want you to believe that you can't stop the inevitable. Oh, do they hope that you will never find the day of realizing the power that you have. Because free will means you can do whatever you want. And that means doing the uh, nothing or the wrong thing. So no one can force you to do anything that you want or don't want. But they can trick you into doing it. How does it feel to be tricked constantly? A lot of people are not going to like this video. A lot of people are not going to listen to this video. A lot of people are not going to believe in this video. I'm speaking to the one, two, maybe five, maybe ten people that are willing to sit there and say, it is time for me to take responsibility for my life and stop living in fear and stop letting other people put information in my head that drives me to continually be negative. Because otherwise, is there no surprise that nothing but negative keeps coming back? And when you decide to change it, things will change in an instant. It just happens that fast. You just have to drop your belief system and go into your own truth. Because truth is different for each person. That's another thing I've learned. It's a matter of your own personal preference and opinion and perspective. Darren's about to sneeze. So, if you appreciate these kind of videos, giving it a thumbs up helps get this out. Watch this video with somebody that you're trying to help. Somebody that you think is still asleep. Do the right thing. Share it. Because this is how I picture the average person. Just imagine if you were asleep. Or your friend is asleep. Or your family member is asleep. Let's, let's assume it's a family member asleep in their bedroom. And they're having the best dream of their life. They're dreaming with, they're with the, the loved one of their dreams, that they're flying, that they're popular and getting everything they desire in this dream. It's the best dream and they don't ever want to wake up. And as they're sleeping, the house is on fire. And you go into their bedroom to try and wake them. And you're shaking them, telling them, get up, get up, get up. And they're still in their dream state and they don't know what's going on. They can't understand what you're doing. All they realize is, why are you waking me up from this great dream? Get away from me. Leave me alone. Why are you bothering me? Not realizing that that person's trying to save their life. And the person dreaming just wants to be left alone. But let me ask you this. If that person who tried to wake them just walks away and you get to continue to dream that wonderful dream and that house burns down to the ground with you in it, what benefits did you get from that dream? Because it wasn't real. Or was it? You could be kicking and screaming as they pick you up and carry you out of the house, not knowing what's going on. Being mad at the person, wanting to hurt them because they woke you up and they're doing something that you didn't want. And mad at them for trying to help you. Until you look back and you see the burning building. So don't hate the people who are trying to wake you up. Don't call them crazy. Don't ignore them. Because in the end, the only person you are hurting with that is yourself. Because as the people who are trying to help you move on to someone else, their lives get better and better and more peaceful while yours will stay the same. And you can pretend all you want, but look around you. Are the same people in your life that have made you upset or angry or disappointed or sad? Are the same events happening over and over again? 
You can lie to me, you can lie to your friends, you could lie to your family, but you can't lie to yourself. And unfortunately, it will not change until you decide today is the day. And I hope that's it. Speaking of that's it, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys will leave your comments. Forgive me if I don't take uh, time to respond right away. I just stay away from the negativity, but that doesn't mean I can't make videos to help people. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, next time I make a video, you'll be the first to know. So the people that stuck around and still subscribe and watch my videos, I thank you. The even fewer people that come here for the right reasons, I welcome you. And even the people that sent hatred and will continue to send hatred, I feel sorry for you. I hope you'll change your lives and stop being so angry. Because otherwise you'll spend the rest of your life having things to be angry about. Not the way I want to live my life. Hey, Chai. Thanks for watching. Peace.